Hello, friend. I'm glad to be able to come to you from uh, Brian Gorn's Homestyle Cooking. Today, we're going to make a pastrami. But I started this pastrami seven days ago. Um, that's when it has to sit into a brine. And I'm going to show you how we made the brine. We put it together. Uh, when we pulled it out, it's what you call corned beef after seven days. After that, we get uh, a rub on it. We have a special rub of, of uh, black pepper, coriander, mustard seed, a few other little things. And then we put it on the smoker for about four or five hours to bring the temperature up to 157. And after that, uh, we wrap it. We'll show you how to wrap it. Stick it in there, crank it up to about 350, 320. Get the temperature up to about 205, 206. You know it's done, and you're going to see how tender it is, how it falls apart when we get through cooking it. All right, well, let's go ahead and get this pastrami on the road. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to put in some black peppercorn, two tablespoons of black peppercorn. We're going to put in two tablespoons of coriander seed. And we're going to put in two tablespoons of mustard seed. We're going to take a few minutes. We're going to toast this. Uh, and then we're going to mix it with the other ingredients. But other, we're also going to crack it. We're going to grind it up a little bit. We're going to toast it over a little heat for a few minutes. Now we're going to add the pepper, uh, coriander, and mustard seed that we ground it up. At this point, we're going to add in now we have two tablespoons of juniper berry. We have two tablespoons of allspice berry. We have two tablespoons of chili um, flake, red uh, chili flake. We have two tablespoons of whole clover. We have one teaspoon of ground garlic. We have one teaspoon of mace. We have about 20, well these are four tablespoons of bay leaves. And we also have two sticks of broken cinnamon. Now, we take these ingredients. This is considered our spic uh, pickling spice for the pastrami. You mix this up. They say take a quarter cup, about that much right there, and that's what we're going to put into the mix right here for the pastrami. Okay, now we're going to turn on our fire. And we're going to add our pickling sauce, pickling uh, seasoning. We're going to add a cup and a half of kosher salt. We're going to add in a cup of sugar. And this is uh, curing, uh, pink curing uh, salt, PEC-3, PEC-1 rather, uh, six, six, six level teaspoons, no more, no less than that. We're going to add in a quarter cup of brown sugar, dark brown sugar, 
And then I'm going to add in two tablespoons of um, chicken bouillon, Nor's chicken bouillon. And in that, and then in a minute, we're going to add in 10 cloves of crushed garlic. Well, we're 10 cloves of garlic, and they're going to be kind of mashed. We're going to let this heat up and kind of boil into the flavor we need. Okay, it's heating up. Now we're going to add the cloves of garlic. We're going to stir that up. And as that heats up, we're going to add it to the other gallon and a half two gallons of um, brine and we're going to add this to the other gallon and a half in the bucket and we're going to submerge that in, in uh, the brisket in that. What we have here is what is called um, a brisket. Um, there's two parts of the brisket. There's the flat part uh, where most of the lean meat is and then there's the point uh, and there's a lot of fat up in this area on the point and so what we're going to do we're going to cut down I'm going to pull off some of the fat store it over here we use that to make sausage but we're going to trim down this flat part and that's the part that we're going to really make for pastrami the rest of this part we're going to use for sausage so you need a very sharp knife and be careful with your knife, all right? And so the first thing we're gonna do is begin to pull away at the fat. Be careful with your fingers, because this will, this knife will cut you. We pull that part out. We're just going to cut through here uh, on this part here. We want to leave about an eighth of an inch, so to speak, of skin uh, on the on the flat. So we're going to leave a little bit of fat on the flat. This is that's okay. That part is good. We're going to cut down into that some more in a few minutes. But we're going to let's flip this over because we have this is 18 pounds. Wow, that sucker's heavy. Mm. Woo! This ain't light. Watch the knife. Flip it around. Okay, so what you have here, this is the pastrami flat that we're going to use for pastrami. And I cut part of the nut off, and this is going to be um, corned beef. This is corned beef, this is pastrami. Let me tell you what the difference between the two. After we pull it out of the brine six days from now, this right here we, will be corn, it all will be corned beef. We take this and we cook it um, with cabbage, uh, we steam it, um, pressure cook it, and that will be corned beef. This we season up, which you'll find out, and we put it on the smoker for about five to six hours with a special uh, blend on top, and that will be what we call pastrami, all right? So that's what we have now. This right here is leftovers. I'm actually gonna use this uh, when I make other sausage, summer sausage. That's where we can use the fat, uh, give you that 30% fat to 70% um, lean. It's like ground beef, and that's what we're making there, okay? Now we're going to get ready and put this in the brine. Okay, this is a brine bucket. You see little layers on the side right here. That helps keep the meat submerged down in the brine. So you have there, ooh, this is hot. Mm. Okay, you have there uh, two, uh, a gallon and a half, 
And this right here is the other half gallon of the brine. That's the brine. All right. We're gonna take a minute, kind of let that cool off. But we're gonna submerge the meat in it. We don't want to boil the meat. <laughs> All right, and I'll show you how to show you how to do that in just a second. Now we're going to submerge the meat. We're going to get the pastrami flat. Submerge that down. And then we're going to get the corned beef flat. Submerge that down. Now, we have a special little device here that fits down like this. Press it down, twist it, and it keeps the meat under the fluid. So it stays there, and then we take the top, put it on here. I'm gonna put it in my refrigerator in the garage, and then uh, we'll come back and visit this in six days. See what we got. Okay, the, this has been in a brine now for seven days. Okay, I'm gonna pull this out. You have two things that are happening here. All right. This is seven days. This first piece right here is corned beef. All of it's corned beef, but that's what we're going to use for corned beef right there. Okay. And then this right here is the pastrami. Okay. That's the pastrami. And this has been um, in a brine. This is called a brine. This has been in a brine for seven days. It's completely cured. We're going to take a minute and rinse things off. And then I'm going to place this piece in the pressure cooker for corned beef and cabbage. I'll show you how to do that today. This piece, I'm going to season down and we're going to slow smoke for about five hours, five to six hours. And that's going to be our pastrami when we slice it up. All right? So now we're gonna get ready to grind up our rub that goes on this pastrami. And we're going to be later on showing you how to make that corned beef with cabbage. Okay, this is the rub I'm getting ready to put on um, the pastrami. This right here is uh, black pepper. I'm going to grind it up black peppercorn. This right here is coriander seed. I'm going to grind it up. This right here is mustard seed, uh, brown sugar, garlic powder, two tablespoons of garlic powder, one tablespoon of onion powder, and two tablespoons of brown sugar. And I'm gonna grind all of this together to make a rub to go on the pastrami. Okay, this is uh, the ground up black pepper and coriander. We're gonna take this and mix it in there. And then we're going to mix everything up. And this is actually going to be our rub that's actually going to go on the, the pastrami. Now the other thing I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to use mustard as a binder to hold this onto um, to hold this onto the pastrami. And so I'm gonna take my hand and just kind of mix it up. That brown sugar gets a little thick, but this is it. This is actually what we're going to brine that we're actually going to put on top, coat the meat and smoke it. And I'll show you how to coat it in just a minute. 
All right. Okay. Now we're going to get some mustard and put on here. We're just using the mustard as a binder. All right. So. Okay, make sure you get the sides, all sides of the brisket. Okay, another piece here. Just the back side as well, okay? Now, what we do at this point in time, we grab a little bit of the seasoning to put on it. We coat it real good. And then we just Rub that seasoning onto it. Okay, we're ready to put this on the smoker. Okay, this is my uh, Bradley smoker. It works by smoking these pellets, well, disc, and it feeds it down and it smokes, open it up right here, down to the bottom, it, every 20 minutes it drops a pellet in, and what it does, before it um, turns to ash, it goes in that pan of water, so you don't get ash on the meat, you get nothing but pure smoke. Now, I'm going to add the brisket that we seasoned up and everything. I'm going to set that uh, here on this particular rack right there. I'm going to grab my temperature gauge, my uh, thermometer, and I'm going to stick this right there inside the middle. And that'll tell me the doneness of the meat. I'm going to close it, turn it on, it's already set for four hours. I'm going to set the temperature down to 180 for four hours, and I'm going to set the smoke for four hours, but it's going to go every other disc. It's going to just drop down there, and it's going to start smoking. And um, the goal is, is to get this brisket internal in about four hours at 150, 155 degrees. Then we're gonna come back and rewrap it in foil, put it in there, turn it up to 320, and get it up to 205, and then we're done. All right? Have a good one. Okay, I'm gonna check this uh, pastrami. 156, 160, 150, 160. So it's ready to be wrapped, 159. 169 so it's cooked in the middle ready to be wrapped so we're going to wrap it in foil tight get it as tight as you can get it i got two pieces of foil so i can come on on it real tight i'm going to close that in lock in those juices we're going to turn the smoker up to 320 degrees our cooking internal temperature that we want with the brisket is approximately um, 205 degrees when the meat hits 205 it's ready to go we'll let it sit kind of for a minute but we don't want it to get overdone and tough so we're going to take it Put it right here on this particular rack. Put it back in there. We're gonna take the probe, get this in it. This is gonna tell us when the temperature reaches what we're looking for. We're gonna turn the system on, close the door. We're gonna set this for about maybe two hours. And we're not going to add any more smoke to it. Got enough smoke. Two hours to start. And we want the temperature at 320. 
and it's set. It's ready to go. All right? So we'll come back and be ready to pick up on this pastrami. All right, we have our brisket is ready. We're going to go ahead and just slice up a little bit of it. Kind of letting it rest a little bit. We're just going to kind of see how it is and just slice just a little bit. Let me see if you can see around that side. Let's see here. Look at that. Just kind of slice just a little bit. Oh, that's coming. That's nice. Oh, that's nice. Look at that. Look at that red texture, that pastrami red texture. And it's completely it just looks it just comes apart. Look at that. It comes apart. Completely done. Excellent. That color, the taste, the form, the bark. Excellent. Excellent piece of beef. Well, I'm going to uh, try a bite of this pastrami out and see how good it tastes. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm. That's good. Homemade pastrami from brisket. You can also get the recipe um, on our website, down at the, in our YouTube channel, Brian Goins Homestyle Cooking. We want you to make this. You don't have to have a smoker like I had, your regular grill, you know, put it in direct heat, close to the side, Put it over to the right or the left. Pan of water in there to make sure you keep the moisture in. You can do it right over a regular grill. And main, maintain the valves to keep the temperature somewhere about 220, 200, 220 until it gets to 150, 155, and then wrap it for two hours. Crank it up to 300 till it hits to 305. And man, it is tender like the... Mmm. <laughs> this is good. I'm going to have to do this. Well, listen. Excuse my mouth being full. Hit the like button. Subscribe and share. Thank you so much for your time and I'll see you at the table.